it was very difficult, of course, because I couldn't speak language, I couldn't do anything. Also, like, get up like 4.30 and then uh, starting like a meditation, like 5 o'clock. <laughs> Sometimes I cry, I say, oh my God, why? I have master in management. I could work. I left all this for Kung Fu. I just tried to think. I just look the mountain. I try to just to have meditation to know exactly what I want exactly in my life. I say, I love this martial art, and then I want to do it. In my life, I never want to do anything like in the half. If I need something, I have to do it. And then I, from, from this moment, I start to say, okay, you cannot live so far from Africa to come here to play. I said, okay. So from this moment, I just hear like, uh, okay, I have to give them all my best just to succeed. The first time, uh, every person was looking for me like I was uh, coming from the sky, you know. And then when I wore like a Chinese uh, man clothes, they was looking for me, my God, who is this man? And one day someone asked me like um, the song, make my skin to be so uh, black. It was very terrible. I'm very hungry, but I have to practice how to learn. But sometimes I just leave, give up and then I eat like this because I was very hungry and it was too much for me. Uh, when I was young, I was playing football. When I was in elementary school, I was a captain of my school. In Cameroon, you know, football is like a kung fu here in China. We cannot have like a place to play, but anyway, you play, you know. We doesn't have like a shoes. I play without shoes before. My village is Bafu. The king of this uh, village, uh, he's my grandfather. So that's why I'm a prince, yeah. When my father sent me to the city, because the football is more big there, I will have opportunity to be choose with some coach and to go to Europe to play football. And the dream for each parent is like to see his uh, son to succeed for the football, you know. But when I arrived there, it was changed mind. Douala is a very big city. I can go to the cinema. And the first day when I went to the cinema, my God, I just watched like a Bruce Lee movie. I said, my God, this is what I should do. My father was so disappointed. create like a Gabonese Kung Fu Wushu Association. And the Chinese ambassador, he said me, what do you want to do? You did a lot to develop our culture here in Gabon, in Africa. What we can help you to do? I say, my dream, it's just like, uh, there's not two, just one, to come to Shaolin Temple. There was create this martial art. He said, you are right. You represent this culture here in Africa. It will not be good if you cannot come in the place we was founded. Yeah, now coming back home to give for my students the training. I miss them, they also miss me. So this is the great moment for me. Oh, me toko. Oh, me toko. Voila, go! 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 Today in Africa, there's a lot of person who they are very poor and they say, what I can do is, but Kung Fu can give them like a confidence and to trust themselves. Don't give you. Ah, ah, dude.
Kung Fu can help the people who work to be strong, to be disciplined, to respect people. D'accord, donc les dates là. Pa D'accord Allez, vas-y. Voilà. Donc, pa pa pa